Today for your out, you were asked to identify which ecosystem had more richness, more evenness, to calculate the Simpsons diversity index, and to tell me which one was more diverse based on that index. Right now, you are just going to be calculating the Simpsons diversity index for both ecosystem one and two. To do this, you are going to be using the Simpsons diversity index equation. To set up the equation, we need to replace all of the ends with the number of individuals from Ecosystem 1. So we had 300 daisies, 335 dandelions, and 365 buttercups. You are going to be replacing all the little ends with these numbers. You have a thousand uh, individuals in total, so that's what you're going to be putting in place of the big N. So now I have replaced each one of those ends with an actual number. So we're going to use order of operations to be able to solve this, but first we need to calculate what's inside the parentheses. So we're going to do 300 minus 1, 335 minus 1, 365 minus 1, and 1000 minus 1. So we have 299, 334, and 364. So now we need to multiply. We will be multiplying what's inside of the parentheses with what's outside of the parentheses. So we are multiplying 300 times 299, 335 times 334, 365 times 364, and 1000 times 999. Once we multiply those numbers, we get 89,700, 111,890, 132,860, and down below we have 999,000. We would like to divide, but before we can divide, we have to add the numbers that are on top of the equation. When we add those together, we get 334,450. Now we're ready to divide. When we divide those numbers, inside the parentheses, we now have 0.33. Finally, we are able to subtract 0.33 from 1. This gives us 0.67. This is our answer for the Simpsons Diversity Index for Ecosystem 1. The next step is to now calculate the diversity of Ecosystem 2 using the exact same equation. We will be setting up the Ecosystem 2 equation exactly the same way. So we have the number of daisies, number of dandelions, and number of buttercups. For Ecosystem 2, we had 20 daisies, 49 dandelions, 931 buttercups. So we are replacing each one of those ends with those individuals of flowers for Ecosystem 2. Also on the bottom, we had a thousand total individuals in Ecosystem 2. So that's what we're replacing for our big N. I would like for you to complete the rest of this on your own. After you're done solving for the Ecosystem 2, make sure that you return back and answer question number four, which one is more diverse? Base this on the answer that you received from calculating the Simpson Diversity Index for Ecosystem 1 and Ecosystem 2. Remember that a number that's closer to 1 means it has more biodiversity.